Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and you're watching a tutorial on the excavator design in KTV5. So we are a couple of steps ahead uh, in the design process and uh, sometimes uh, the designer forgets to constrain some of uh, the joints. So uh, for that reason later uh, he faces some trouble while you're doing the simulation. So uh, let's see here we have uh, given the coincidence constraint. So sometimes uh, what you can do while in the assembly is you can check the degrees of freedom. So here I'm going to move manipulate and I'm going to try to rotate it uh, and uh, make sure that the uh, product uh, have the correct degrees of freedom or it's properly constrained. So I'm going to X axis and I'm just giving a rotation here and see what happens. Our back arm is moving outside of the product. So why is this happening is because uh, the constraint on this particular phase was not given. So it was not constrained and that's the reason the coincidence is being maintained uh, whereas the object the object uh, you know moves out of the assembly. So for this what you can do is uh, you can just give an offset constraint or a contact constraint over here and here. Once that is done use the update command and it stays on the proper place. So let's see the uh, manipulate tool once again and check the degrees of freedom now. With respect to x axis, I'm sorry, with respect to the x axis it rotates and uh, there's only one degree of freedom for this and again over here if I try to move this particular back arm so see you can see it's having the correct degrees of freedom so finally uh, all this back arm are all going to be constrained according to the exact degree of freedom or what you can see say that the back arm is going to move uh, with respect to plus 40 and uh, maybe say uh, minus 10 degrees so the final constraint will be done in the simulation workbench that is a kinematics so let's see ahead uh, for the complete design of this uh, particular assembly. So keep watching. 